first guy off the water, guys, was helping this guy, um, towing him in. First of all, thanks for your service. Oh, thank you. It's yeah, awesome. Man. It's his first year. He goes to Auburn. What's going on guys? Welcome to another video. Today I'm making a video over the recap of the Lake Seminoles tournament because a lot of people have been asking me. I was going to upload the practice video today um, because it was pretty. we got some pretty decent footage on there. For the most part, I didn't film as much as I was wanting to just because I was hunting and I was so dialed in, you know. So today I was like, I'm gonna open, I'm gonna make the recap video because I am making this right before you guys watch this. So like when you guys are watching this, when I put it out, I pretty much made this an hour before. So because today is Sunday and you guys are watching this on Sunday. So I'm gonna be talking about what baits we were throwing, what happened during the tournament and the whole lay down. So yesterday was the tournament and let me just kind of, kind of start off with this. So as you guys know, tournament usually starts at safe light, you know, in the morning, I'd say around 7.15. Well, we woke up like at 4, 4.45, got all our stuff, Put it in the boat, whole deal, got to the ramp, um, we loaded up on gas, whole deal, um, got to the ramp, and the fog was horrible. So we're gonna have like a major fog delay. We didn't know it was gonna be as long as it was, but we ended up not launching, I'd say until, like us, my boat, until about 10.45. Um, so yeah, about, gosh, about a four hour delay. Um, it was about a three hour delay, I'd say, but, with our boat number is about four hours for us. So we were boat 150. So we already had not the best boat number. Um, there's a, two other tournaments going out. There was a real money tournament, which had, I believe, 65 boats um, that was going out, which is a lot of locals. And they were putting in, in by the dam, or they're putting in Spring Creek. I don't know if you guys know anything about Seminole at uh, Big Gyms. So that's where they were putting in. So they're already over there, kind of near the dam in Spring Creek area, pretty much where I was fishing and the Florida side. And so I already knew there's gonna be like a lot of boats, especially if I, there's 150 boats in front of me. Um, so pretty much with that whole deal going on, it was already not turning out to be the best because we were starting at 11 o'clock. Well, we were doing at originally 4.15, but they extended an hour, so I was doing it at 5.15. So go out there during the tournament. As you guys know in practice, if you guys watch my Instagram and everything, we were just smacking them, guys. And first day of practice, went pretty good um we smacked him i have a really cool picture i want to show you because we did a little 2v2 tournament out there but we weren't really catching them. we were just finding new spots one and done and leave um but the second day we found some big ones um, i caught i caught a six pounder um partner caught a four pounder caught multiple threes um it was, it was a good day um we had about 18 pounds uh the day before the tournament but we weren't really like fishing so after we caught like five or six fish which honestly i wish we didn't even catch that many we cut off the hooks and uh, you know, continued to hunt for some more spots. So that being said, practice was amazing. Every time I come to Seminole, practice is amazing. I've gone to Seminole three times, this is my third time. Um, first time, sucked it up, horrible tournament, but in practice we whacked him. Second tournament, which, which was last year, my first college tournament ever, practice was insane. Uh, multiple 20 pound days. Then we practiced months in advance and uh, did pretty well, as, um, did pretty good as well. And tournament did horrible. Only had three small fish. Um, one of my worst events ever. I had came from Seminole. Then this year, we sucked it up again. But in practice, we whacked them. I don't get every single time. Like in practice, we smoke them here on Seminole. It's it's literally I I love the lake, but I hate it at the same time because I feel as if it's like a curse on me. I was I swore the third time was gonna be the charm, but we just it, we we got out there and it was one of those times where it's like it's not our day. Um, for the reasons being that I'm gonna explain now. So we got out there for the tournament. It was already late, a big fog delay. There was a lot of boats on our spots. Um, just a lot of crazy stuff happening. I had some shortcuts that I was taking and there was just a lot of boats out there. It was hard because I was taking some shortcuts and it was already a little bit foggy. It was hard for me to see. When I was taking my shortcuts, there was boats out there. So I was like risking going around the boats because um, of course I didn't want to blow them out by any means but I still had to stay semi close to them which sucked as well because I didn't want to drive anywhere near anyone but taking their shortcuts there's stumps everywhere you got to be careful so I had to slightly get out of their way um, as best as possible and um, pretty much got down to our first spot fishing and everything and Alan my fishing partner he caught one that was like 11 and a half um, 12, in 12 inches was um, smallest you could bring in it's a 12 inch limit and after that we hit our second spot the first spot was a juice hole like every time i've came to seminole in practice i whacked him there um we pulled up there the first day of practice i'm gonna have more videos on the days of practice but first cast 
boom, caught a five pounder. Like, and it was our first spot we hit. So that spot's just always been super productive. We were hoping we could go catch a big bag there, but there was a lot of boats around there, and I'm sure a lot of other people already fish it. And I mean, there's just hundreds, hundreds and hundreds of boats. There's 200 in the college tournament alone. So there's just a lot of people beating up these fish. The week before, you know, there were some huge bags being weighed in, like 35 pounds. And how I see it is this lake can only hold up so many 20, 30 pound bags until it just goes, you know, dead. So we hit our second spot. I hooked, hooked into a good fish, started pulling my drag. It felt big. Um, Alan had the net. It gets up, it's a big pickerel. And I'm like, all right. So keep fishing and keep going along. Catch another pickerel. Okay. Pick up the boat, get to another spot. Previously in practice, we shook off a lot of fish, which means, say I had a worm, we either shook it off or I reeled it out of their mouth. Um, so I don't hook the fish, obviously, and I can possibly come back and catch them during the tournament. Went to that spot. Hooked the fish, got him in by 11 and a half inches. Kept fishing, hooked another one by 11 and a half inches. I've never caught a fish under 12 inches on Seminole, and then continued to catch some more pickerel. That's pretty much how our tournament went all along. Horrible, couldn't even get a keeper. Like, literally, and that's just fishing for you guys. Like, that's, that's here to state, like, even if you're on them, like, the day before the tournament, I had 18 pounds. Um, and I wasn't even, like, fishing my good stuff. I was just fishing random stuff that I would see and be like, that looks good, let's go fish that. And testing out things. I can just show, like, how it can change on a dime for you. But with us catching all this pickerel, um, knowing that we really didn't in practice, um, I believe I caught one in practice, and I didn't catch one fish under 12 inches in practice, I just knew that it wasn't going as well as planned and it wasn't going for what we planned at all um for the most part it just wasn't wasn't our day and i'm really not mad about it i mean seminoles kicked my butt this is the third time it's kicked my butt um but practice has just been always phenomenal i'm gonna go there and film some videos because there's so many big fish and i can whack them out there not in a tournament but um we're gonna go back there another time anyways started driving down the river to go back to the ramp we had to be due in at 5.15. I believe it was 4.45 at the time. I saw someone broke down, or I didn't know if he's broke down, but he's sitting in the middle of the river channel. And I pulled up next to him and I made sure he was okay. I put, you know, thumbs up, thumbs down. He put thumbs down. So I was obviously gonna go help him. Um, and so I asked him, I was like, what do you want me to do? One of uh, our buddies from a college back by my house pulled up, took his partner, got his fish. And I told him, I was like, yeah, I can tow you back. So we towed him back, the guy's from Auburn. I'm a really nice guy. He actually um, is in the military and everything, um, thanking him for, for his service and everything. But we towed him back, I believe it was, it was about two hours, it was about 11 and 12 miles. Um, but we could only idle about four miles an hour. And I towed him upriver back to the ramp. And by that time, literally everybody was gone from the way in. There was like nobody there. Um, literally the trailer was gone, the whole deal was dark outside. But I would like to say with that whole deal with towing that guy, that, you know, if I was on the water and I was broken down, I would really respect if, if, you know, someone came and helped me. And I think that's very important. I think, you know, that's how this fishing community should be. You know, if someone needs help or something's wrong or anyone needs anything, I think someone should be there for them. And um, I think that's a really good, you know, opportunity if you have it to help somebody out. And I think that's the right thing to do. Just got off the water, guys, was helping this guy, um, towing him in. First of all, thanks for your service. Oh, thank you. It's yeah, awesome. man. This is his first year he goes to Auburn. Pull up his motor. Tell, tell him a story. Yeah, I, uh, I made a long run today. We ran 35 minutes one way, just, I mean, wide open. So on the way back, I knew we needed to leave a little early just to make sure we make it back in time. And we made it about six miles away, and she just came apart. And these guys are lifesavers. We end up qualifying for the national championship. Um, this is my first one. We end up 18th at 188. And uh, we could have done it without these guys. I mean, it was huge. I'd just like to congratulate them. I think this is a cool, you know, opportunity to say if anyone's out there and you want to help them, seriously. Because, like, I told him, I was like, if I was ever in a situation where I was broke down or something, I'd wish someone would help me out. But Absolutely, man. Congrats. I appreciate it very much. Glad blessed. you had a good one. Yeah, thank you. I just wanted to say that. But I'm gonna go ahead and talk real quick about the baits I was catching them on. And I'm gonna have my practice video. I'm talking about all the baits. I'm gonna have that um, where I'm catching all the fish more in depth. But first bait, it's just a simple um, one fourth ounce Texas rig, trocar hook, EWG, speed worm. This is what we were whacking them on. One knocker right here by Booyah. If you don't know uh, 
who Excalibur is. Excalibur used to make these, and then they sold it to Booyah. These are, as you can tell, it's a one knocker. It's not like a regular standard rattle trap. We were whacking them on that in practice. And then I got a little drop shot that I actually tied on because I was getting very desperate in the tournament and I uh, wanted to try to put some fish in the boat. But overall, guys, thank you guys so much for watching. This is just a little update video and recap video on the tournament telling you guys, you know, what happened. And it just shows you guys you can't win every tournament. You're not going to win every single one. And this is the beginning of the season. This is the first tournament of the year. And it sucks to start off this way. But then again, you know, we have plenty of more tournaments that we're going to work towards 150% and bust our butts for. Anyways, guys, hope you guys are grinding every single day, working hard, and striving to be the best that you can be. Thank you guys so much for the support. Be sure to like, comment, and subscribe. I'll catch you guys in the next video. Please like this video. Please comment below your goals for 2018. I want every single one of you to comment at least one goal, and I want you guys to go execute and achieve that goal. Don't be normal. We're going to change the world, guys. Thank you guys so much for the support. I'll catch you guys in the next video.